Yo what's up guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you how to make milk splash with Oreo Supreme so this is the result for this tutorial to know how to do that let's check it out so first of all I already make the modeling of the glass Oreo Supreme and I already put some light in here I put the camera uh, in the front of this scene at there and this is the view of the camera okay so for making the liquid splash by the physics properties what should we do is making the domain domain is the limit volume to make sure that uh, simulation is limited only working at inside that volume so it will reduce the area of the simulation so the splash only will be happen inside this box Okay, first of all, we need to define the domain by clicking the physics, fluid, domain, and choose liquid. Thirty-two, I think, is too small, so better to adjust it. I'm gonna use 40 just for replay uh, type tutorial so it will be running in our viewport if we just type replay after that we need to define the fluid we go to the flow and choose liquid again and for the flow behavior I'm gonna use geometry so the milk geometry that I already make will be converted to the fluid particles and then I also need to define the fluid properties of the glass due to this is the uh, glass so it has to be effector and the effect tab is collision so every time the fluid is touching with the glass it will be collide back okay next due to i'm gonna make some splash i need some effector to make the splash on the fluid of course the fluid cannot splash but by itself you need some uh, external force to do that so i will moving this spear by following this keyframe and i will uh, define to become the effector and also we need to setting the surface thickness to 0 0.5 sorry I mean 0 0.9 and then for the Oreo Supreme also we need to define as effector and surface thickness 0 0.5 so the surface thickness basically is like the parameter to make sure there is no fluid particle that through this object so if we decide one so almost there is no fluid particle can through this surface so if 0 0.5 still some fluid will be through the surface 
so it's no problem for me if the fluid will be through this uh, area supreme because if too many collide it will make the back time back duration is too long and i think i will get something why there are no fluid particles shown at the viewport maybe i need to update the resolution become 60 mm, still nothing Ah, I remember something. I forgot to checklist the liquid, so the liquid doesn't sound in the viewport. So now you can see the blue particle is generated from the milk geometry, and it can be uh, run the simulation now. So the spear that we use as a vector for making splash will be moving uh, from bottom to the top and uh, push the liquid particle to make some splash oops why the volume of the particle is decreasing something wrong let's investigate oh there is some leak at the bottom of the glass so you can see that the fluid particle is leaked from the bottom cover so what should we do is increase the surface thickness become 1 and try to run again Maybe better I need to increase the resolution one hundred may be enough. Okay, then play the animation. Yeah, you see that uh, the fluid particle is moving upward due to the spear is moving uh, from above the top and hit the particle above that. So splash is happen. We can see that some particle is through the Aurea Supreme because we decide the Aurea Supreme uh, surface thickness only 0.5. If you want to the fluid particle is not true you can adjust the surface thickness but I don't need that now so I'm just uh, keep this setting okay So now there is no fluid particle that leak from the bottom uh, of the glass and then we can see some splash happen after the spear is moving out from the milk. Yeah, we can see some fluid particle. If we increase the resolution, we will get some more particle splashing, but for my computer spec maybe 100 is already too heavy and i don't want to increase again in the replay mode okay and next is uh, i'm gonna back the simulation so change the type to be all um then gonna write the mess
and then I'm gonna increase the resolution because 100 of was not uh, enough for the fluid simulation because I want the fluid particle that involved for this material uh, for this simulation is not too uh, small so uh, better to increase that and then uh, better to change the sphere surface thickness become one so there are no fluid particle that can through the surface of the sphere so all fluid particle collide if they hit the sphere okay I use 300 resolution and then okay all are already then back all okay so my baking simulation already finished now we need to uh, define the which frame we want to render the image I'm gonna start with 10 oops not so many particle that's passing so let's move to 20 yeah that's enough splash milk okay okay so the fluid particle already become the mess because we already checklist the mess before we baking that and then the spear I'm not gonna render it so I make some new collection together with the milk because uh, the milk will not change totally to the fluid particle they just uh, become source of the uh, volume to make the fluid particle so if you render it the milk geometry will still remain so better move it in the new collection like that and uncheck this okay and then I already make some material for the Oreo Supreme glass and milk and for the backdrop also yep this is the looks of our scene with materials I already add Oreo Supreme material glass and milk material and then I'm not gonna tell you how to do that because you can download it in my file that I upload in the description so this is the result of this scene that's all thank you very much bye bye